back to library share to channel today this class we learn how to make this beautiful ruffles detail it's a very simple tutorial and it's beginner friendly so we learn how to make this with very little fabric it's not fabric consuming and the method is very simple this is something you would like to learn kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial thank you okay so i'm going to be teaching us the easiest way to make this ruffle we have made several ruffles on the channel already but this is a different one so i'm going to be working with this organza fabric and i'll be teaching us how we can make it without wasting too much fabric you can see that i have my fabric cut in a straight form like this it's not a flare so it means the fabric this method is very economical we're not going to waste too much fabric for this so the total amount of fabric that i'm working with for this is around okay so this is like 17 so this is like half yard of this organza half yard and the length is the length of the organza okay so that's the length that the organza comes with that's the length that i'm working with so that's about should be around 60 inches but most times not complete so we have around 57 58 so this fabric is 18 17 inches long which is about half a yard and 58 inches in length so now the first thing i'm going to do now is to fold this into two so if i'm using half yard by the time i fold this into two i'll have around nine inches which is quarter of a yard okay okay so that's about nine inches i'm just going to fold it into two to shape it to have that tiny mouth that we have that pencil mouth so make sure that what you have folded is equal if it's not equal you can trim it so that you can have something equal okay so i'm just going to trim off the uneven parts that i have there so that i can have something uniform okay so once you have it like this the pencil part is just on one side so we're going to be working on just one side and not making the pencil on both sides so from the starting point of that side that i've chosen i'm just going to measure there's really no measurement to this you can just eyeball it but i'm just assuming that i'm dividing the length remember i said the length should be 50, 60 inches so just imagine that we are dividing this length into four that would be around 15 inches so from that starting point there i'm going to measure 15 inches so that i can create that small hack so from here now have 15 inches up to here so once you have your 15 inches you can use your free hand or you just use a cuff to connect it from this tip here to that 15 inches diagonally like this so that i can have that small okay, so like i was saying from there i'm going to connect it diagonally like this I'm just using my free hand but you can also use a cuff then you are going to blend it with the length that you already have there we are doing this because we want that tiny piece at the start of the ruffle so after connecting it like that I'm going to go ahead and take my scissors and then cut that part off so just make sure it's as smooth as possible you don't want it looking too sharp or anything like that so i've cut this now i can see the hack that i have there so because this is an organza fabric and it's shaking i just want to hold with a pin then i'll take it to the sewing machine and then sew all through okay so if you have like a serger you can just take it to the weaving machine and then weave it but because i want to turn it you know organza frills a lot so i just want to sew it so that i can turn it to the right side so that the frilling is not going to affect what i'm doing so i'm just holding this with pins now and then i'll take it to the sewing machine and then i'm going to sew it so i'll sew from this tip here all the way remember this side is on fold it's not open so you, you, you do not divide this into two so you just have to put it on fold like that then i'm going to sew like this also the hand then i'm going to leave this open part the other side that we did not touch to turn it out so i'll go over to the sewing machine and sew this now okay so i've gone ahead to sew it now and you can see what we have i started from this tip all the way to the other 
so from this small space that i left on the other side i'm going to turn it out so it's easy because organza is soft so no matter how small the space is you can work something out so now i'm turning it to the right side and you can see that this side now is neat okay this is important because of the nature of the fabric that we are working with so yeah you will using something that is stronger you may not need this but if you also have a weaving machine you can just use that to set it and it will be fine so this is what we have you just need to close up this small space that we have left here so now i'm going to arrange this well okay so after turning it out like this the next thing now is to take on this part where you sew it you, you, you should not hang on this because you want it to be bouncing so just leave it at it as it is then on this part where we sew it i'm going to go ahead now and run a loose stitch a gather stitch on it so that i can gather it so from here now i'm going to run a gather stitch all the way to the other hand so another way you can calculate the amount of fabric you need now is by measuring where you want to place this flowers you just measure it and then you multiply that measurement by three or even by four if you want it really full so now i'm going to gather this to the exact measurement that i need that's where i'm going to be placing this flower so if you are placing it on your neckline just measure your neckline so if you are placing it on your shoulder just measure around your shoulder wherever it is that you're measuring that you're placing this you are going to be gathering this to that exact measurement so i'll take this to the same machine i'll run a loose stitch now and then bring it back so that we can continue okay so i'm gonna have to run these loose stitches now the next thing is to gather it so i'll just pull the thread gently now and then start to gather to that size that i need so now this is me gathering this to the required size so i'll gather this now and move back to show us what it looks like okay so i've gathered this now and you can see how small it is looking i've gathered it to the size that i need so now the next thing now is to start creating these ruffles you can even sew it like this and this is a form of design also if that is what you want but if you don't want this we're going to be creating the ruffles that we have on the thumbnail so now to create this ruffle i advise that you just sew this first on this part just sew it to the area that you want to sew it to and then create your ruffle or you can just create those ruffles and then tack everything onto the fabric so whichever one you want to work with is fine so now you can create your ruffles manually by just opening up this now open it you can just pick it in the middle now and then you tack okay so this is one then you go over to the next one open it up create some ruffles and then you tack it again you can see that we're already creating it then you go to the next one also open it up create the ruffles and tack but the easiest way you can do this if you have a dress form is just to pin it on your dress form so that you can see the variations that you have if you are not okay with it then you'll be able to correct it okay so i have my dress form here now so the first thing i'm going to do now is to try to sew it i'll just imitate it like i'm sewing it on my fabric using this so you can see now i'm just going to pin it onto the dress form now like i am sewing it before i create the ruffles so you're just going to print it along the lines that you want these ruffles to be created so now i'm pinning it from the center front to the shoulder area okay so after pinning it now we're going to create Okay, so like I was saying, I've moved this to the mannequin. So I've pinned this to the mannequin like I'm sewing it now. And you can see what we have. So like I said, this is just a design on its own. You can leave it like this, but to create those ruffles, like I was explaining. So you just open up on this folded part. That's why I said you don't need to sew this because that's what's going to show. So you just open it up like this. And then create some ruffles you can just pinch it anywhere and then you tack it okay so i'm just going to be pinning it so this is the first one then i'm going to go over to the next one open it up like this also create some ruffles around that side and then i'm going to also tack it down so now you go to the next one so this is what you're going to do to create those ruffles till you get to the last one so you can see what we have so the reason why i prefer to just pin it to the mannequin is when you're doing this and you are not satisfied with maybe any part 
that so you can see what we have now so if you are doing this and you are not satisfied at any point in time you can just remove your pins because you are yet to sew it you can just remove your pin now and then recreate it so it is better this way so i'm just opening it up again now creating my ruffles there and then i'm going to take my pin and pin it down so this is what you're going to do and you can see that it is narrow to the to this point because because of the cutting that we did when we wanted to start this so if you want it uniform you will just leave it but because this is the style that i want to go for that was why i went in by 15 inches then i curved it to that point so now i'm going to tack all of this now and then bring it back to show us what it looks like but basically this is the process that i'm going to involve in making all this tacking so you can see what we have so far after gathering your ruffles this is what it looks like so when you're gathering it you just need to lift it up like this pin it and then you go ahead and tack it with your needle and thread or your sewing machine you can see how lovely this has turned house and you can make it bigger by increasing the amount of fabric you are working with or even smaller depending on what you want to achieve i hope you enjoyed making this beautiful tutorial with me if you enjoyed it let us know in the comment section like comment and subscribe to our channel and i will see you in the next next one. Bye.